They made us wait a week, but they came back with a fire episode. Season 2, Episode 9 of Force was amazing, man. And it left us off with a banger. I'm going to touch on Tommy and Vic on the preview, so make sure you check that out. But, man, it was so much stuff that went on. We got to start with Tommy and Diamond because they kicked off the episode hiding a body, and then Diamond was just wild in this episode. I mean, he drowned beyond dad. I said, whoa, Diamond on a whole other level this episode. He really getting back to his old self. Then he get off of parole. So he causing chaos. He out here drowning folks the whole nine. And then he get off parole. Now he do got a big problem with the little kid. Mad Dog, I think was his name. Because the kid is a King Kilo nephew. So that's a big problem. Right? Because that dude's supposed to be a big, big boss. And Diamond a big, big boss. So he really can't take him out. Because... That'll be a big problem. He basically got to do it and not let it get back to him. Kind of how, like, Tommy been moving, right? Because Tommy been doing a whole lot of stuff and not letting it get back to him. Especially when dealing with them Serbs and Miguel. And salute to Maria. Because she definitely sided with Tommy. If you go back and watch my last review, I said, when the cops came to Maria and told heard that Tommy was a dangerous individual, that was the exact moment when she sided with Tommy over her brother Miguel. Because, let's be real, she been not liking Miguel. She been wanting to get away from Miguel. But she just couldn't because she was afraid. Now she got somebody that can handle and take care of Miguel. I mean, at their grandma's funeral, it looked like she wasn't even tripping. She was just sitting there. Miguel looked sad. She was just sitting there. I said, dang. And Grandma went out dirty, too. That dude, New Year's, man, he did Miguel crimey. Like, bruh, you going to put a bomb on the car and you done knocked off his grandma. I really wish Tommy would have took his tattoo. And he brought up uh, Julio from the original Power when he said, yeah, I remember somebody did my homie like this. I'm like, dang, I remember when that happened to Julio. But I wish you did New Year's like that because that dude definitely deserved it, even though he ended up getting knocked off. Now, Tommy is playing Miguel, too. Miguel know it. They really both trying to take each other out. Miguel then went to Diamond and told Diamond, yo, do you really need Tommy? Diamond didn't ask him back, but Diamond knew something was up because how he was talking to him. You know, you know when somebody try to give you that old super nice, cool conversation and you just know, nah, nah, nah. You either about to ask me for a favor or some money, all right? But you about to ask me for something. That's how Miguel was talking to Diamond. He like, yeah, man, you know, we both from Chicago. Diamond looking like... Ugh. What you trying to get to, man? Just get to it. But, of course, it was stopped by Miguel Grandma passing away. Now, Tommy looks like he got it all figured out with this situation, too. Because they gave Merkovic the ups. I love how they had the little side door to get up out of there, too. I said, yeah, that's what's up. That's how boss is supposed to roll. So you come through the back, you come through the front, but you don't even know. I got a side door that's going to take me to a tunnel that's going to take me to an alley far away where I already got cars sitting for me to get in and take off. I said, oh, that's clean. If I get it like how they got it, I want something like that. The only thing Merkovic still got to worry about, he don't even see it coming, is Tommy and Diamond because they definitely want to take him out so they could get in closer with the big connect, you know. And of course, it'll weaken Claudia too. Because of her connection with the Serbs. She gonna bounce back. Because now they done introduced us to the Marquez cartel. And I believe she gonna have a connection with them. So she will bounce back. But it'll still weaken her from having that Serbs protection too. Now, we also gotta talk about Shanti and Jannard. Because... 
they are like in this 50 50 relationship which i would advise any man not to really get in i'm gonna be honest but that's what they got and it seems like shante got just a mind of her own and she gonna go off and do her own thing she be telling Jannard, but i still feel like she just got a mind of her own and she gonna do her own thing and she kind of feel like she over Jannard in some situations at some points you know what i'm saying and then sometimes i feel like Jannard be over her it's like a real 50 50 thing but the difference is she want to take out diamond too she want to knock off tommy and diamond Jannard feel like man me and my brother getting back closer you know the thing happened with their father and Diamond and been there for Jannard in certain situations. Jannard and been there for Diamond with Leon, dad, finding out about the kid King Kilo, and then also lying to them officers when they came about the PO. So Jannard been there for Diamond, right? Now, the thing that I'm thinking when I'm watching all of this is did Jannard or Shanti have something to do? with that kid mad dog knocking off leon because remember leon was at the boxing gym with them so shantae know about that Jannard know about that i'm wondering did they work something out with king kilo and mad dog to knock off leon just to get that diamond to throw him off something like that i really can't see Jannard doing it at this point but I can see Shantae. So I'm predicting that. All right. And I do it. I'm going to do a side video on it so I could put the prediction down and it'd be his own separate video. But I do think that's going to happen or not happen. It already happened. I think that's going to come out that Shantae has something to do with Lil Leon getting knocked off because I just can't trust her. And speaking of people, you can't trust. We got to transition to Vic. Vic is about to get knocked off. Possibly. Right? It is still one little thing that he could do where he could actually not get knocked off and survive this season. But Vic planted another wire, right? First he was wearing a wire. Now he done planted something in Tommy apart. But how smart is Tommy? He take them cell phones and he's able to get Vic's number and figure out, okay, he's the one working with the cops. That was super smart. But I do got to say, Vic had an intuition. Remember when Diamond was talking to Tommy at the meeting? Vic was looking at him like, man, something up. He was right. When he was in that... Um, office talking to the cops when he was in the car talking to the cops when he's talking to stacy he like yo when am i gonna get with sec when am i gonna get some type of protection because something is up he had a feeling and he was right man sometimes you just gotta go with that feeling that you have and sometimes that feeling that you feeling in all type of different situations you just gotta go with that because you're feeling that for a reason, man. But he didn't act on it. He didn't run. That's what I thought he was going to do. Because once, like, if I was in that situation, which I'd never be in this situation, you know, as soon as I start getting the feeling like, yo, somebody on to me, oh, I'm taking off. I am taking off for sure, you know. But Vic is going to most likely get knocked off, man. I love how Tommy be piecing stuff together. And how he be working. But he do still got to find that bug. That's going to be key going forward. Because you got him. You got Morel laying up in the apartment. They talking about the moves they making. <laughs> that bug in that apartment. That ain't going to be a good thing. So hopefully Tommy do a sweep. Now that he done figured out it's Vic. And he could think okay where are all the places Vic didn't been. And then hopefully he could do a sweep. Now, he might do the sweep and just leave the bug there. Because if he know the bug there, it still helps, right? Like, if you know something, you you uh, being taped in your house, you okay, I'm going to talk a little different. 
So it'll still help him if he just knew, okay, the bug is in my apartment. And it's one of those things where it could really, really be beneficial towards him if he don't take it down because the cops won't know that he know it's there, but he know it's there. So he could be having conversations to throw them off. Now, the last thing I got to talk about is that DMAC, Kate, and JP conversation. Because I see exactly how DMAC feel, but the streets is super high. Tommy made the right decision to send that boy away. Because he fighting up there, he been making a bunch of dumb decisions when he wasn't at that, that uh form school or, you know, that facility. So it's like, bro, you don't need to be out on the streets right now. It's a lot, lot going on. You got snitches, you got uh different crews, you got people they gonna be beefing with. King Kilo, that might be a big situation. D Mac need to be back at that facility and that'll really help him survive. Now I like how they wrote it though, because you had JP making a, a bad decision, sending him away, or feeling like he made a bad decision, right? And then he goes to Kate and tells her he accepts her apology. That's key, and I love how they wrote that because it shows the correlation between the parenting and the kid. And a lot of times, us as people, when we get older and we have kids, then we finally able to relate to our parents. Like, oh, oh this is why they did this. This is why they did that. Oh, you know what? Maybe that ain't that bad. Maybe I should forgive them for doing this you know and it was a big revelation moment where he decided to forgive her you know so that was a a nice dope scene that they put in with the three of them and i like that they put that in there i'm just you know kind of afraid for dmac because his character is someone that a lot of people like and when it's like that but they ain't like super essential to everything that's going on yeah them be the ones the writers not completely off man but yeah this episode was yeah my favorite scene from this episode gotta be when diamond and Jannard drowned leon dad that scene was fire they pulled it off too they did it right too everything was really done right this episode i actually don't got a scene that i think was horrible i think that was like super bad where i gotta say it was the worst scene I think all the scenes were pretty good this episode, man. Now, make sure to check out my preview that should be coming out soon. But other than that, man, as always, if this your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Check out the other content. Click that like button. And like always, y'all be easy. Be safe. Peace.